Plex is a robust piece of software that allows you to have a Plex media server, collect all of your content, organize it as you wish, share it with whomever you want to, and it is super simple to use. That's why I'm a fanboy. I absolutely love it. That's no secret. But what you may or may not already know is that if you wanted to start using Plex, you don't actually need any media or really for that matter, a server, which is kind of weird if you know anything about Plex. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits, and in today's video, I wanna say, well, two things before I jump in anything. One, this video is part of a monthly sponsorship through Plex, so thank you Plex for sponsoring my channel. Number two, everything you see in the back is kind of work in progress. I know there's a lot of stuff going on. I threw a lot of stuff up there. It's all in the construction. This whole area looks clear. Everything else is completely messy, so. Bear with me, it's in the works. So with that said, let's talk a little bit about Plex and what it has to offer without needing any of your own media or really your own server. To start things off, let's talk about the new Plex Video On Demand service. This is a service that Plex negotiated directly with studios to offer you movies and TV shows directly through Plex, and all you have to do to watch them is watch a few commercials. It's a little bit like regular TV, except it's, you know, video on demand service. But this growing video on demand service from Plex allows you to instantly watch movies and TV shows, and none of that content needs to be hosted on your own hardware, meaning you don't need any kind of a Plex media server to watch any of the content that Plex offers. Now, this service from Plex does not require Plex Pass. All you have to do is sign up for a free account. By the way, if you do, use the links in my description down below. I get a little bit of a kickback, so thank you if you do. But if you set up a free account, you can use things like an Apple TV, a Shield TV, a Roku, a personal computer, Computer, laptop. For that matter, you can even use your cell phone or a tablet to view Plex. And if we're going down this route of starting to use Plex and not having any kind of your own media or any kind of server in play, then there's also other options to get additional content. Plex offers things like web shows, which is kind of sort of like YouTube basically on Plex. So it's just another way of it kind of bringing everything in and making it one screen for all of your entertainment. Plex also a while ago added podcasts. So again, just another another easy way to access content that you probably already listen to. And if you wanted to, you could even subscribe to Tidal, which is a music service that allows you to just search for and play music. Tidal prides itself on higher quality music. So if it's something that you're gonna be using for entertainment and you're kind of an auto audio file, then you might appreciate it more than somebody like me who actually doesn't really listen to that much music. The great thing here is that none of the stuff that I just talked about that Plex offers for free through their service, with the exception of Tidal, of course, does not affect normal users like me. If I don't wanna see the TV shows, the web shows, the, the podcast and the title stuff, I can hide that from my screen and I'll never even have to see it. I can just see my own TV shows and movies that I already have libraries for. I'm not gonna get ad breaks in my own content that I have on my server. I'm not gonna run into any kind of hiccups. It's just an added feature that's on the side that I can use if I choose to. But let's say you wanted to start using Plex. You like the options that they have, the video on demand service, the movies and TV shows that they offer is okay but maybe you actually want to start a Plex media server and you don't have any media whatsoever. Well, to start off, you don't really need a huge computer to make a Plex media server. If you have an old laptop that you're willing to keep powered on all the time, you can use that as a starter Plex media server, just running something simple like Windows. And to start collecting media, Plex offers a service called Live TV and DVR. To connect that to your Plex, you can get something like an HD home run. They have a couple few different options that you can pick from. Some can handle more channels at a time than others. Some connect to your cable box, some use an antenna, but using my Myself, as an example, I have an HD home run that has two tuners, two tuners, that's actually kind of a tongue twister for me. It has two tuners in it. It's connected to an antenna that I put in my attic and it just pulls live TV out of the airways. So you have to get something like the HD home run and an antenna to hook up the Plex and then you can easily configure everything to automatically record your favorite TV shows or maybe even the occasional movie that pops up over the airways. And free TV like this can still net you some pretty decent quality content. We're talking 720, sometimes even 1080p content that you can get for absolutely free. You 
You just have to configure your server to record it when you see it coming up. Bonus here, you can even configure Plex to take out all of the commercials automatically. So I have a lot of things on automatic record like The Simpsons or Last Man Standing. I have that connected to the antenna and it just automatically picks up the latest TV episodes, records them, cuts out the commercials and stores it on my Plex server. It's nice because I can just go in and watch that recorded content whenever I want to and I don't have to worry about, you know, manually telling it to record those new TV shows when they come on. In fact, I have absolutely no idea when Last Man Standing or Simpsons airs. Normally, new episodes. Zero idea. And from a cost standpoint, this can be something that's very affordable depending on what you already have available to recycle to turn into your own Plex media server. You probably don't have a spare HD home run laying around the house. So you might have to go out and get one of those on top of an antenna, but you can also get one of those from Walmart for like 10 or 20 bucks. And since you can install the Plex media server on an old laptop or an old computer that you have stored away somewhere, or maybe even use as a daily driver, that means to get yourself up and running, you don't have to invest a ton of money, again, depending on what hardware hardware you readily have available. Well, that's it for today, guys. Again, if you want to set up your own free Plex account, check out the links in the description down below. These are my affiliate links. So if you do use those to sign up a free Plex account, it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out. So thank you in advance. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a great day.